with the form ready, let's just double click the form, not the image box, but the form itself. And that will create obviously the form load event. But before we get to that event, we need to set up some variables. The first we can do is set up a random generator. This will generate those bonuses and place them randomly on the board. So we can do random and rand. We don't have to initialize it here, we'll initialize it later in the constructor. The next thing, we can use an enumerator for our game board fields. Remember, there are three possible fields. One that is empty, one that is snake, and one that is bonus. Now, snake can have two parts, head and body, but in this case, it doesn't really matter because it's still just a snake. So we'll have three parts, one free, snake and bonus. So let's do an enum and I'll call it game board fields. And the first one I'll just call free. That's going to be an empty field on which the snake can move. The next one is snake, which will consist of the snake's body and head. And the last one is the bonus. And obviously when the snake eats the bonus, the body of the snake increases. Another enumeration we can use is for the directions. So we'll be moving up, down, left and right. So we can do another enum. I'll call it directions. And the first one is up, then down, then left and right. Now we need to have a way of knowing where the snake is on the board. Basically, we will need snake coordinates for X and Y. So we can have it as separate integers, but we can also have it as a structure because they are related. So let's actually do that. Let's do a structure and I'll call it snake coordinates. And the first coordinate will be the integer for X. And the second one will be an integer for Y. So this will hold, as the name implies, the coordinates of the snake on our game board. So now let's create some arrays. And the first one, we need to have obviously the game board itself. So we created the game board fields enumerator, and now we can use an array of all the fields on our game board. So we'll create a type game board fields array. And it's going to be a two dimensional array, obviously, because we have X and Y coordinates. And I'll just call it game board field. And the second one, we have to create the coordinates of the snake on our game board as well. So once again, we create an array, but this time we don't need a two dimensional array because the coordinates already are X and Y in our structure. So we just need a single array. So array of snake coordinates and I'll call it snake X and Y. If we had it as separate integers rather than a struct, we would obviously need a two dimensional array here as well. The next one, we need to know the length of the snake because the length increases each time the snake eats the bonus. We need to keep track of that as well. So an integer called snake length will be used for that. And we can also create a variable for the directions type that will hold which direction the snake is moving. We don't need an array for that because we can move only one direction at a time. So type directions and the variable is just direction. And there's one more thing we will need and that is to be able to paint everything on the board. And in C-sharp for that, we'll use the graphics. And graphics, as you can see, is a class and it's used to draw on the surface. So let's use that and I'll just name it G for short. So this will be used to draw on our board. So these are the variables that we need so far. So next, let's initialize them.